Hello everyone. Hello Leute. Welcome to my channel German from scratch. And our today's topic is introducing yourself in German. So in German it is called as Zisch for Stellen. Zisch. Zisch for Stellen. For Stellen means to introduce yourself. Yeah, in Deutsch it is called as Zisch. For Stellen, which means to introduce yourself. Zisch for Stellen. And this is the second part. First part was covered in my previous video. And the link for that is shared in the description below. Yeah? So let's get started. So it's Zisch for Stellen. For Stellen. Zisch for Stellen. Okay. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Welche. It's welche, which means which. Welche Sprachen. Sprach, Sprachen. Sprachen means languages. Yeah, welche Sprachen sprechen means to speak. Z means you. Welche Sprachen sprechen Z? Which languages do you speak? Yeah, it means which languages do you speak? Again, welche, welche Sprachen, spa, spra, welche Sprachen sprechen Z? Which means which Languages do you speak? Okay. Ish spreche. How will you answer? Ish spreche. English on ein wenig Deutsch. So you just have to answer the languages you speak. Right? Ish spreche. English und Ein wenig Deutsch. What does that mean? I speak English and a bit of Deutsch. So you can write any language you speak. If you speak French, if you speak uh, Hindi, any language you speak, you can mention over here. Ich spreche. Ich spreche English und ein wenig Deutsch. Spreche is to speak. Ich is I. I speak English und ein wenig Deutsch. Yeah, I speak English and a bit of Deutsch. So what the next question would be? Wie ist ihr Muttersprache? Wie ist ihr? I'm sorry, it's not ihr, it's Era. B is era. Muttersprache. What is Muttersprache? Muttersprache is either mother tongue or native language. Yeah, whatever your native language is. B is ear. Muttersprache. What does that mean? What is your mother tongue or native language? You just have to mention whatever your native language is. So let's answer this question. Meine Muttersprache. Mutter. Mutter is mother. Okay. Meine Muttersprache. Sprache is language. Mutter is mother. Meine is my. Meine Muttersprache. Sprache. Sprache. Meine Muttersprache is English. So I have just given an example. If you speak English, if your native language is English. You'll write English. If it's Hindi, you'll write Hindi. And if it's French, you'll write French. If my mother tongue is English, right? So suppose you speak French. What will you write? You'll write Franziosisch, which means French. Franziosisch. Meine Muttersprache ist Franziosisch. Franziosisch. So, 
in my next video i'll cover the languages and the country okay the country and their languages what they speak i'll cover in my next video so do not worry about this if you speak any other language i'll cover that topic in my separate video right so for now just know how to answer okay minor motor sprache is english or any language you speak which is your native language right that is what you need to write here okay let's move to the next question studierenzi studierenzi are you studying studierenzi studierin studierin studierenzi are you studying so if you are studying how will you answer suppose you are a student you study how will you answer for that ya ya ish studier if you are a student you study how will you answer ya this is y y ya y ya ish studier ya which means yes yes i am studying yes i study right suppose you are not a student you do not study but you work so how will you reply for this question in that case nein nein ya nein nein ish studiere nicht ish studiere nicht nicht is not okay no i do not study ish arbeit arbeit ish arbeit arbeit means to work so the sentence means no i don't study i work okay so for yes it's ya yeah. for no it's nein nein ish is i studiere study no for not it's nicht 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 nein ish studiere nicht no i do not study but i work so you write ish arbeite arbeite which means to work ish arbeite not study i work are you clear okay so let's move to the next question arbeiten sie do you work so the previous question was studieren sie now it's arbeiten sie so now you know what arbeiten means arbeiten means arbeiten is to work z is you which means do you work you work so let's answer this question in case you work okay so how will you reply that ya ich arbeite ya ich arbeite yes i work ya ich arbeite ya i work suppose you do not work and you are still a student and you are studying how will you reply nein nein ich arbeite nicht nein ich arbeite nicht ich studiere ich studiere nein ich arbeite nicht ich studiere no i do not work i study I study. I study. No, I do not work. I study. Okay. In case you are not a student, you are you do you uh, you do not go to office, you don't work, but you are a housewife. How will you reply then? Ich bin Hausfrau. Ich bin Hausfrau. I am a housewife. ish bin hausfrau so house is house yeah house frau frau means 
wife. Okay, ich bin Hausfrau, Hauswife, and it is written together. Ich bin Hausfrau. You can even say, ich bin Hausmann. Ich bin Hausmann. If the person or the husband is not going to work or not studying and he takes care of house, so what would he say? Ich bin Hausmann. Ich bin Hausmann. House husband. Right? Ich bin Hausmann. Ich bin House Frau. Frau is wife, man is husband. House man. House man. House Frau. Right? Was sind ihre Hobbies? Was sind ihre Hobbies? What does this mean? What are your hobbies? So, was is what? Sind. Sind. Was sind. Was sind is are. Are. Was sind ihre. Ihre is your. Was sind ihre hobbies. Was sind ihre hobbies. Hobbies is hobby. Ihre is your. What are your hobbies? Right? So, you will mention whatever your hobby is. Meine Hobbies sind, meine Hobbies sind, my Hobbies are Tanzen, Tanzen, Tanzen is to dance, Tanzen, Musik, Musik hören, hören, Musik hören und lesen, und lesen. Dancing is to dance. Musik hören would be listening to music. Yeah, Musik hören. Hören is to hear. Listening to music. Und lesen. Und means and. And. Und. 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 Yeah, und. Lesen. Lesen means to read. To read. So, meine Hobbies sind... Tanzen, Musik hören und lesen. If you have any other hobby, I would mention a list of hobbies again in one of my videos so that you can mention if at all you have any other hobby like running, jogging, watching movies, right? I would cover all that part later on, right? So do not worry about it. Okay. So now this means my hobbies are dancing, listening to music and reading. My hobbies sind tanzen, Musik hören und lesen. Yeah? Are you clear? So that was end of our topic. Zish for Stellen. And yes, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So that you can follow my videos. Okay? Happy learning. Cheers.